Um, why is this joke called this? You may ask, so I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guest and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, I'd like to thank you for watching the show live for at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. So please feel free to share, as you never know who may this may help. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women at crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so that they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I've also created a transformational journey to help you get clear on your destiny. Now, um, I am the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life regression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, hypnosis, angel cards, to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. Um, now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guide to meditation or angel card reading, normally with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, but today you've just got me. Now, before we get into this fascinating conversation, and I do say it's a conversation because I want you to join in with me. I don't want to just be talking all to myself. You know, um, if you are watching this plea live, then please do um, ask questions, make comments. Let me know that you're here because I can't actually see who's watching or who's here. So by you saying hello, I actually know who is here and who's actually um, watching. And I will try and answer any questions or comments live or after the show if I'm unable to um, do it whilst whilst the show's actually going. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get updates on all recordings. So if you've never actually met me before, then um, as I said, my name is Ray. And although I've been doing this um, this show since ooh, November last year, October, November this year, I've never really told you a lot about myself or my background um, because obviously normally I have, I have guests here. Unless you've caught me on shows that I've been interviewed on, um, then you wouldn't know a lot about my past. So I thought, um, seeing as I'm here today talking about future life progression, I'll give you a, um, a little bit of a background. So I'll just take a sip. Do you like my cup? You see each week. Keep calm, ask the angels. Always a brilliant thing. So, although I was brought up in a very spiritual um, family, you know, we're always surrounded by tarot cards, palmistry, uh, psychometry, paganism, etc. I always had a very analytical and questioning mind. And I think I probably wore my parents to death asking questions, wanting to know who, why, what, where, you, you know, always wanting to know how things work. In fact, so much so that I actually persuaded my mum and dad to actually buy me a microscope when I was younger. Um, and I've actually got a scar on my finger, which obviously you can't see in the camera, where I accidentally um, cut my finger with a scalpel, but we won't tell my mum that one. But what's fascinating was the blood that came from it. I actually looked it under the microscope to see how, how it looked, as you do, wanting to know what, what blood looked like. And I also had a telescope as well, which was a fascination for me because I got to see the stars and the moon, you know, trying to work out how they worked. And then when I was about 11 or 12, I remember watching a program called Tales of the Unexpected now, those of a certain age may know um, what that is, but if you don't, I've actually got the theme tune here, which might trigger a few. Um, so if you can hear that, if you can hear that, let me know. Oh, that was a, that was a really interesting program. Quite scary in some parts though, um, which, uh, which, which you know was the was a little bit hi Jackie thank you for tuning in and watching um but yeah so Tales of the Unexpected and I remember one show that I watched really caught my imagination and that was with um there's a program and they 
did a past life regression it's like oh my god you know this it was all about the mind you know and, and if that's what your subconscious can do you know who knows what what fascination what you know what mysteries you know what knowledge it could actually it could actually give us and then of course oh look jackie love that program i know it was brilliant wasn't it um but as i said a little bit scary sometimes and that and a little bit dark as well but, you know should an 11 or 12 year old have been watching that who knows um, i think i was about that age but yeah i think i was about that age then um so i kind of like knew there was there was more going on then fast forward um, many years because as always like teenage years early 20s you know life gets in your way until a few years ago i had got to a crossroads in my life where i was kind of like actually there's more to life than this you know what am i meant to be doing why am i here um and that's when i remembered past life regression so i did an online course and i found that that helped heal a lot of my past and it helped heal a lot of other people's um past and where we were healing the past we were actually transforming our present. You know, we weren't, we weren't re, reliving everything that we'd, we'd done in the past. You know, it, it, they'd, they'd gone out of our lives. But it was kind of like, there's, there's got to be more. There's got to be more to it. Um, and then I just happened to um, come across Angersh and Future Life Progression. And it was like, oh, light bulb gone, gone off my head because if we can go back in the past and use the past to or heal the past so we can be clear of um, the present then what if we went forward in the future and we worked out what was in the future how wouldn't that be beneficial to our present because then we won't be worrying so it's kind of like ah maybe that's something i need to look at so so that's kind of like how i got into um future life progression so if you do have any um questions about that so far then please do uh, then please do let me know so future life progression if you think about it everything you do in your present creates your future so if you change your decisions or behavior now this will create the best possible future for you think about it everything you do in your present creates your future so if you change your decisions or behaviors now you will create the best possible future for you um, now now let's go to sort of like the analytical part of, of, of my brain because we've actually got some science um, behind behind this, um, you know, behind the conscious and the subconscious. So science has proven that only 5% of our thoughts that we have on a daily basis come from our conscious mind and that 95% are coming from our subconscious mind. So if we want to make significant positive changes, then the best way to do this is to go beyond the critical conscious part of our mind and change the thought pattern while in an altered state of consciousness by connecting with our higher selves or source or God, whatever you wish, wish, wish to call it. So imagine if you knew five years ago what you know now. What would you have told yourself? How would you have acted? And what would you have done differently? Just, just think about it for a moment. You know, I know there's things five years, you know, if I knew five years ago, things I knew now, I would take a completely different path in, in, in my life. You know, um, you know, I, 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 you know, who knows where I would be now if I, if I, if I knew back, back then. So you're kind of like, well, you may be thinking, why is it so helpful to see our future life? surely it's something that's predestined and shouldn't be living in the present well i totally agree we should be living totally in the present because that is how we are here now on earth so 
if but by going into the future you can live in the present so so think about it you know if, if you think back to five years ago you know you may have saved time and money on bad ideas developed creative ideas seen ideas you never thought of be already living your life purpose um, you could have also explored your relationship, seen who you should have kept, and more importantly, who you should have let go of, seen your future home, what courses you should take, you know, and so much more. So by working with future life progression, I know that we can visit our future so that we can change our present. And by changing our present, we can actually be in total charge of our destiny. I mean, there's nothing in our lives that we can't change if we know what the outcome will be. So, you know, think think about that for the moment. And if you've got any questions, you know, then please, then please do ask them. And um, as I said, either live or at a later date, I'll I'll actually reply, I'll actually reply to them. Um, so how does um, future life uh, progression work? Well, basically, yeah, um, it's the same. It's very similar to um, past life regression, in that you are guided to relax your mind and body and get it into a theta state or waking dream state. So, if you think about um, where you've been driving and you've gone from A to B, and suddenly you get to B, and it's like, oh my God, how did I get here? You don't remember the journey. But you do know that you stopped at traffic lights, let people um, cross the road. Well, that and again, now the scientific bit again, because I do love my little bits of science. Um, this is what scientists are, um, call consciously slipping into a state of deep relaxation while remaining consciousness. So, so I liken it, um, and I think this is a much nicer word, as a waking dream, you know, um, once we get you into this waking dream, then you're taken into your future, whether it's five years, 10 years, or a future lifetime. Now, when you do this, you may experience this as a vision, a physical experience, or a knowing, depending on which is your most dominant sense. Um, I mean, the most dominant ones are, um, that we have are sight, hearing, or feeling of knowing, um, though you mix quite often experience all of them just in, in, dif in, you know, just in different degrees. So you may be thinking, well, what if in five years my future life hasn't changed and I'm still in the same job, relationship, or I still don't know my life purpose? Well, if that's the case, then we'll explore in your future life why things haven't changed and what opportunities you've met, you may have missed or things that you haven't done well then can go 10 years into the future. And by then, especially if with the knowledge that you picked up um, at five years, you can actually see that your life has changed for the better. You then bring everything that you learned back into the present and start making changes. So then in five years time, you have actually changed your life. Um, now, another example of this might be, um, say you were looking for a new career and you were offered two jobs but you didn't know which one to take, as both seem really as good as each other, would you take, well, what we would do then, we'd take you five years into the future in the first job, and you'd explore that and see how things are. Then we would take, bring you back to the present, and then we'd go five years into the future with the second job, and we would again explore that and see how things are there. Now, it may be that the first job you had was really good salary, but you have no home life or you're stressed out, um, and maybe the second job, um, you know, you had a smaller or similar salary, but you were much had a much happier home life. Well, the chances are you'll take the second job. But what we could do then is take you into a third possibility of five years, which is your most perfect job for you. And you may actually find that you're doing something you never thought of. Or it could be the same career, but with a different company. And life is much better than the first two. So would you then take the second job or actually go and look for the for the third job? Now, once you have visited the future, um, you've experienced it and even talked to your future self, you'll have gained insight and knowledge 
um, to bring back with you um, the wisdom and the energy into the present and start taking control of your destiny. As you know, because you no longer have to worry about the future. Um, so you can now create the, um, you can now create your future in the present and much, much sooner. So, I mean, how wonderful is, is that to know that, that you can do that? Um, so any, any questions, please do, um, please do let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep rattling on um, because I can actually talk for England if I really want to. And I hope the sound sounds OK, because I'm actually using a different microphone today. Um, so I'm hoping that it, it sounds OK. I'm sure that people will let me know if it doesn't, if it doesn't sound OK. Now, recently, um, I wrote an article for the Akashic magazine, um, which goes into a little bit more depth than what I've actually um, spoken about today. Um, and it also has a... Uh, uh, a, a chance, um, a waking dream guidance to take you into um, see your see your future life. Now you can read the full article. Um, I'll actually put the link um, for the for the full article and um, where it's actually even got the um, the the, uh, the waking dream um, exercise for you. But as a something to um, so that we can do on on the show as you know I love doing my guided meditations and taking people forward and backwards and, and just taking people on journeys you know I'm a storyteller by heart oh thank you Jackie sound is all good ah that's excellent thank you for letting me know that um yeah so I like I like telling stories and talking as you probably guessed and I probably mentioned once or twice so I am actually going to take you on a guided journey to actually meet your future self. Um, so as usual, um, we say when we do um, all of, of these, please make sure you are not driving or doing lifting heavy machinery which I'm hoping if you're watching this, you're not actually driving or operating heavy machinery because this could be a little bit dangerous. Of course, if you're listening to this on a podcast, when I when I when put it on one, because I'm actually looking at putting all the shows onto podcasts so you can actually listen to them rather than sitting. In. So then you, well, you can listen to the show, but you can't do the guided meditation even on a podcast whilst you're driving along. Yeah, I didn't think of that one, did I? Um, so as usual, you know, please make sure and make sure you're not going to be disturbed. But of course, because this is recorded, you will be able to listen to it back if somebody does disturb you through it. So what I want you to do now is to just sit comfortably and just close your eyes. And as you do, take a deep breath in, giving yourself permission to totally relax. And on the out breath, just letting go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. And just breathe deeply a couple of times, giving yourself permission to relax with the in breath. And then the out breath, release everything that doesn't need to be in this space. And just allow your breathing to settle into a nice, steady pace of your own rhythm. That's it. And now I want you to imagine the beautiful golden light of relaxation above your head. Now you may see, feel or imagine this. And what I want you to do now is to bring that golden light down into your body. Allow it to fill your body completely. That's it. And as it fills your body, it fills your aura, your feeling body. 
just like the ready break adverts where you had the golden glow around you and now look at the back of your closed eyelids it's like watching a tv screen and you will automatically start to relax more now think about relaxing all your muscles so just relax the muscles in your head in your brow your ears your temples your nose your mouth, your cheeks, the back of your head, your jaw, because as you think about relaxing, so you will relax. And just allow that relaxation to move down into your neck, your throat, into your shoulders and it's like warm sunshine just massaging your shoulders such a wonderful feeling as this feeling of relaxation moves down into your upper arms your elbows your lower arms your wrists your hands and your fingers and your arms feel so heavy and relaxed such a wonderful feeling of relaxation and just allow this relaxation to move into your upper body as you feel your whole chest muscles relax your stomach muscles relax your back relax your spine relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae as this relaxation moves down you feel your pelvis relax your hips relax your buttocks relax sinking more deeper down into the chair where you are sitting as this relaxation moves further down as your thighs relax, your knees relax, your shins and your calves relax, your ankles relax, your feet and your toes relax. And how wonderful it feels to be this relaxed, in this beautiful relaxed state. And now I want you to imagine that you're outside a beautiful mansion at the top of five wide safe steps leading down into a beautiful garden full of the most wonderful flowers you have ever seen. And this mansion, these steps and these flowers can be anywhere you wish, real or imaginary. You may see them, you may sense them, you may smell them. You may just know they are there. Now these five steps are going to lead you down into the garden. And each descending step will take you deeper down into relaxation. So if you're ready now, let's take the first step down, five. Going deeper down the stairs, four. Deeper down the stairs, three. Deeper down the stairs, two. Feeling more and more relaxed as you go deeper down the stairs, one. Deeper down the stairs as you take a step off into this wonderful garden. And just take a moment or two to smell the perfume of the flowers feel the warmth of the sun on your shoulders, a gentle breeze cooling your skin, and the bright colours of the garden as you just explore it for a moment or two.
now you start to walk through your garden heading towards a beautiful river at the edge of your garden feeling more relaxed with each step and you can hear the water as it tumbles along beautiful relaxing sound and as you reach the river you realize that this is a river of ever flowing time and you know that as you walk along the side of the river following the water it will take you forward in time forward in time to your next lifetime where you will be able to see and experience what you were doing and you're ready now to take that journey to go into your future lifetime so now start walking along the river moving forwards in time moving forward 10 years forward 20 years forward 30 years forward 40 years forward 50 years maybe 60 years or 70 years 80 years 90 years, 100 years, or maybe even further in time until you reach your next lifetime. And as you reach that time, which is now, just take a moment to orientate yourself and get a sense of who you are and where you are. Are you male? Are you female? Look at yourself from your feet upwards. What do you look like? What are you doing? Where are you living? Just spend some time exploring this lifetime and I'll leave you to do this for a moment or two to gather whatever knowledge is needed for you to bring back to the present. And in a moment, it's going to be time to come back. So now, just learn or remember the things that you need to learn now. And just everything that you have learnt in that future lifetime. So now it's time to come back to this lifetime, remembering everything you had learnt, bringing back all the energies, 
the knowledge, the wisdom that you have gained. So now you start floating back along the river, coming back, 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 all the way back to the present so that you see yourself back by the river at the edge of your garden. And now you walk back through your garden with the wondrous flowers of colour and scents. All the way back to the bottom of the five stairs leading from the garden back up to the mansion. So start walking up the stairs now with each ascending number bringing you fully back into the present. So walking up the stairs one, coming further up the stairs two, further up the stairs three, all the way up the stairs four. Wiggle your fingers and toes all the way to the top of the stairs five, fully back, fully present, eyes open, fully refreshed and remembering every part of your journey. And I'll just leave you for a moment or two to actually bring you, make sure you're fully back and if you need to drink some water. And when you're ready, please do let me know how the journey was for you. You don't have to give all the details if you don't want to or where the journey took you or what or what you saw. Um, but sometimes it does help to remember things if, if you do that. So just whilst you're gathering your thoughts, I hope you enjoyed that meditation, that waking journey that waking dream to see your future life and that is just a really simple straightforward taste of going into a future life i mean obviously when i work one-to-one -one with people taking them into their future lives it's a lot more in-depth we spend a lot more time exploring me asking you questions you giving answers and those answers being recorded so that even if you don't remember, you can listen to them, listen to them again. And as I said, you know, future life progression is one of those amazing tools that, that we have now. You know, you know, businesses use it, um, estate agents, you know, use it yourself think how wonderful it is to know what's going to happen in the future and know that you can bring that back to the bring that back to the present and make it realistic or even change it to the future um hi joe thanks for, for watching sort of like catching the uh, end of the show um so um, i hope you do go back and listen to the beginning once uh, once once the show's um finished so I don't know if anyone is going to put up their story or how they found the meditation if you don't put the story just um, whether you found it beneficial um, and that the sound was okay because um, that always uh, that always comes in always comes in handy um, now as you know, I do guided meditations and angel card readings and normally ask my guests each week, what would you like, an angel card or a mini guided meditation? So seeing as we've um, just been on a um, journey into a future life, I thought to actually pull us all a card. So all those who are watching this live or at a later date, hi Joe, it's good to see you here. I hope you hope you're well, um, and we need to catch up soon. Um, I've been told that by uh, we need to arrange um, all five of us to meet up again um, at some point. Um, so we're going to do um, an angel card. So 
please do let me know um, once we've pulled the card, if that makes sense. Anyway, as usual, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this live or at a later date need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does everyone who's watching this live or at a later date need to know for their highest good this moment in time? What does everyone who's watching this live or at a later date need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? Okay, let's see what we've got. <laughs> this is a brilliant card, but before that, um, Jackie, uh, was interesting when stepping to the garden was bare feet on grass. Cool. Um, so it's nice to 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 know, um, you know, how you got there, and the fact that the aroma is bare feet um, is is quite nice. Um, yep, I know exactly what you mean, Joe. And yes, definitely, we will. We will do that. So, Jackie, um, you know, if you want to test a little bit more about the journey, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to. You can stand there. I'll, I'll, I'll private message you. That's absolutely fine if you don't want to um, share it. And I told, wow. So, Jackie, the journey took me out into the universe, was inside a couple of large rings spinning around. Wow, amazing. Do you know how far in the future you're gone? Was it um, your next lifetime or a lifetime after that? Did you get a sense of of, of that of that at all? Um, and what was it like being in the ring spinning you around? Um, that, that's that, that's absolutely amazing. You know, it's it's you know when I went into um, my next, I actually went into my next lifetime. Um, and I was actually part of the universe, you know, which ties in nicely with the fact that this is my last time on on Earth. Um, so I'm not coming back again. Yay, finally. Um, I have had over 300 past lives on Earth, you know, since time began. So I think I'm allowed to, to, to leave Earth. Um, but it's not going to be for many, many years. I'm going to be a very old lady when I do actually leave. So the card that came out, bearing in mind we were talking about future life progression is reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly and there's a beautiful um, castle in the clouds and a bubble, butterfly and other. There, so. there you go. How cool is that? You know, talking about future life progression, going forward in time when we get out reaching your destination. I just love the way the angel cards um, work. But basically, what it is saying to to all those that are watching this is that you know your light is shining brightly at the at the moment. You know, whatever journey you're on, you're almost there. You're almost at your um, your destination. You know, it's it's like you know everything has 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 come into fruition. It it's like, oh my God, I've arrived. I'm I'm now here doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, so you know, take take notice, you know, take note of that. Let your light shine, you know, be that glowing light. Get to that destination much, much quicker um, than than possible. You know, reaching your destination, it could be this week, could be next week could be within the year, but you're reaching your destination, but you need to be, let your light shine brightly to reach there. You, you know, be yourself, who you were truly meant to be, and you will get, to, you will reach your destination. So that's a really beautiful card. Um, and, you know, the fact that it came out when we're going forward in time is absolutely brilliant. Um, so Jackie, a long time, felt informational, absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, I'm I'm really pleased that that you actually got something from from that journey. It is a wonderful um, journey to take. Um, you know, and on the um, in the uh, 
Akashic magazine, I've back the, um, the journey is actually printed. It's actually printed there. Um, so you can record it yourself and go on the journey. Um, although I will probably record it myself um, and have it as an MP3, MP4 for people to actually um, download. Now, with the future life progression, I've where I've been working with it, I think it's so amazing that recently I actually trained to be a future life progression trainer. So I can now actually teach you to be a future life practitioner. So you can actually take people on 